starting out today we're leak testing my black tank I've got a hose going through the old vent before we change that up because I'm not gonna have a vent just coming right out the side of my bus kind of defeats the purpose I want to get those fumes up and away from the bus we'll put out the roof but right now we're getting it filled up with water here make sure that we have a good tank that's not leaking I'd hate to find out after we go ahead and plumb this thing in that it's got a leak also I mean I think it's exponentially more disgusting that you know somebody else has used this black tank I mean it's still pretty disgusting if it's your own but I'd hate to have to deal with a leak of somebody else's sewage but we're just gonna let it run fill up with water kind of flush the tank out make sure we have no leaks and then once that's done and the tanks back to empty we'll reposition it and get ready to get the toilet test fit in this thing got the flooring down in the bathroom I know it's going to seem crazy, but just follow us along for a second. We're now going to cut the floor. So I'll make sense in a minute. Alright, you're probably thinking I've lost my mind at this point. I just cut a giant hole in the floor and undid a lot of work, but give it a sec. Hear me out. Hear me out. That is all going to get mortared with our stones. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of dust in the air. And pitched towards that hole right there, which... Dad, you want to grab that and put it in there? It's a shower drain. Yep. So my entire floor is still waterproof, but I will have a stone pitched center there where I'm going to stand and take my shower. So if water gets on the rest of this floor, no problem. Just take my squeegee after the shower and squeegee it towards the trough area there. It'll all drain down the shower drain. That way I don't have a, a, the majority of the water getting everywhere else and running away. But if it does, this is all a sealed waterproof floor. All right, so the toilet is in, mounted. Got all the plumbing to the black tank hooked up for it. Now, I'm going to go through, take this waterproof membrane, coat all of this down here, get the edges of the wood, and get that ready so that uh, once that sets up, we can go through and start getting the tile stuff put in. Alright, membrane's painted in down there. Just need to let that set up for a little bit. And once that's dry, we can start uh, putting down the mortar and getting the profile of the floor in. See about starting to get the tiles laid out for the shower section right there. I'm going to have to snap some of the floor black back together. All right, so we have the membrane coated. It's going to have to set up and dry for a while now. Once that stuff is fully cured, then we can come back through and get the mortar laid in there and get the profile of the floor down so that we can start laying tiles and getting that shower floor section done. Now, I made sure when I redid this, I carried the membrane up under the edge of the flooring, which if you see, I got a piece that came out there. I'm going to have to get that piece put back in, but that's not a huge deal at the moment. I can do that once this is all set up. And this is a watertight floor. Now, I'm going to carry the mortar, or the grout, uh, between the tiles up to the edge of the flooring. That should all be sealed from this laminate down to the bottom. We should be good. So, I think while that's setting up, I'm going to go get some pecs and get the fresh water line to the toilet ran all the peck stuff inside of here done we'll get it dropped through and then deal with it from down below all right get everything ready on the toilet got it all unpacked and then got my water line ran through the back so we're going to charge line for the first time hopefully we don't have any leaks well, got one more thing done today. Unfortunately, I didn't record much because it was getting dark and we're trying to beat the rain for the night, but that diesel heater that Geno's Garage sent is now installed and running for the first time. I'm just starting to get heat through here. Pretty excited to have that. Well, I think that's a pretty successful day. Got the bathroom floor in. Got to start down there to where I'm going to do my tile tomorrow. The hole's in for the drain. My black tank is now hooked up to the toilet. I've got my fresh water line coming into the toilet. Don't have a sink hooked up yet, but uh, got hand wipes and hand sanitizer and stuff to clean my hands. I'm good. 
At least I have a functioning toilet. That'll be nice. Don't have to walk like a quarter of a mile to get to one. That's, that's a little bad depending on the, you know, what you eat. I like spicy food, so that can get dangerous. But we've got a functioning toilet. We've got the diesel heater in, which again, huge thank you to Geno's Garage for sending that. I uh, can't thank him enough. But I've got, uh, it's got four outlets. One of them is down in that bay, stays open in that bay, because that's where my black tank is. That's where my fresh water goes. Make sure that all that stuff is good. And then the other three right now are plumbed up into my bedroom. Now, they come up through ducting to where my closet will be. Somebody thought I was going to leave them in my closet. I'm not. They run out. Right now, I've just got open ducts laying in there. I will end up putting some vents in, but I'm going to have to wait until I get the closet built out and have somewhere to mount them. But we've got the diesel heater. We've got a functioning toilet. The bathroom is getting pretty close to being roughly functional. I mean, the toilet's functional right now. And that's, that's a big win on its own. But as you can hear, it's raining. It's dark. So... Get back at it tomorrow and see what we can get knocked out tomorrow. I'd love to have the floor, the tile section done tomorrow if we can. And I don't know, maybe if I'm really feeling excited, we'll get the uh, corrugated out, cut it, and start running it up the wall. Like I said, I haven't picked out any walls for the sides yet, but not a huge deal. I still need to build a wall that comes out this way and up. So it's going to come out from here to probably about here, about a foot. The rest of this will be a sliding door. I still have a wall to build out this way going forward into the kitchen. I've got to put a hole in this wall for my outlet. I've got to put a GFI right in here. I can probably start stubbing all my plumbing for the sink, get my faucet mounted, shower head, all that stuff. Uh, I do have my water heater. I picked that up today, so I can probably get that going tomorrow too. I've got a lot of wiring to do down in the bay, but we'll see what we get done. 